Hi folks, Sean Maurer, this is 11 Division, my YouTube channel, which is really, I'm only using now for, I guess, book reviews, and <laughs> even some of my book reviews have been taken down. I did a book review on, um, I think I did this book review, and I took it down. Which is known as Hitler's second book, I guess. I did a book review on this. That they took down. Christopher Bowen's... Uh, Christopher Bolin, whoops, let's turn it upside down, let's get the right way up here. Christopher Bolin solving 9-11. And they took that down. <sighs> Actually, even my book reviews are taken down. Um, but I still have the YouTube channel and I am use it mostly to direct people to go to my um, library, LBRY channel. And li library, I know they have something new now that's like kind of, it's part of library, but it's more like, it's use, more user friendly than you, like YouTube or something. But anyway, for right now, library, you can get me there and love and division, all one word, do a channel search. So I put up a video there, it's called, um, there's no freedom. There'll be no freedom for cowards. And I've been, you know, going around like, you know, I'll go out shopping and stuff on Saturday morning without a mask. And I'm usually the only one. I think I've only ever seen one other person without a mask on. <laughs> one or two. Actually, I saw a young girl. One. Actually, no, I guess all together I've seen three people. A guy around my age, you know, middle-aged guy. I seen um, a younger girl, like a high school, and a, and a high school couple of high school kids. In terms of in in a store shopping, I mean, I've seen people out, you know, out walking around. But um, my point, sort of, from the video is that I don't see I don't see enough people that realize how fake this thing is. Um, it's the kind of scam, it's, it's like what they used to say, you know, it's easy as taking candy from a, a baby because, you know, the idea is, you know, a kid has a lollipop, you say, hey, you give me that lollipop and I'll give you two lollipops. And, you know, this, oh, okay, <laughs> and then, you know, you take the lollipop. I mean, that was the same comes. I mean, that's how easy it is to fool kids. And the thing is, this is the kind of scam this is and people adults are falling for it and I, I just I don't see how I don't see how we're gonna come through this with any kind of freedom left it I think this is the big takedown this is the the end times the apocalypse and you know I was pointing out you know this it's, it's gonna be nice to you know see Jesus come back and straighten us all out and he's gonna do it violently that, that you can't Look, nonviolence is good for nonviolent people. But if you have violent people, the only way to defeat violent people is with violence. And that's, that's, it's that simple. I mean, that's why Jesus is coming back violently. He's going to make, he's going to make Stalin look like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. You know, he's going to make Mao Mao Tung look like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. And and we're going into this. So I wanted to talk about the you know Great Reset and the uh, dark winter. Now, you know, I have a sign out in front of my house that says, you know, fake pandemic, real tyranny. And as far as COVID-19, it's fake. And, and I, I agree with David Icke. There is no virus. You think about what happened in Italy, supposedly all these people dying, and people dying, there's people dying left and right, blah, blah, blah. And then three months later Italian government comes out and, and, and says 99% of these things that we said were COVID weren't <laughs> so and so you got 1% there might as well as you can't I you know it might as well be just 
a margin of error that, that it could be anything and it was, you know this is just the regular flu so they took a flu season and, and, and turned it into the end of the world and because people are so afraid they're, they're, they're cowards they said to the the next two generations you know their, their children and their grandchildren and actually indefinite amount of you know future generations to say you know you know fuck you you don't have any more freedoms uh, we don't want to get a cold we might catch a symptomless disease so fuck your freedoms you don't have any more we're not we're not concerned about that we're we're too coward we're too afraid of catching a fucking cold you know what i mean and that's the and that's what i see that's the american people and i don't have any faith and we're going down uh, in faith in the american people that is i mean i'm looking forward to jesus coming back and and slaughtering the the cowards and the the people the perpetrators and so forth however let's talk about this dark winter thing because you know you've seen everybody seen that clip with Bill Melinda Gates about oh this next one you can't ignore this next one it's coming you know what I mean so maybe these guys are going to be hiding away you know underground in Colorado or somewhere like that you know under the airport or wherever they got some kind of these underground you know cities and they're going to re release some kind of bioweapon and blame it on the Chinese or something like that. And the Chinese and American are really the, owned by the same people. It's not like they're two different nations, really. It's one globe now. And and, and, and the this idea of different nations and so forth is just, is just a uh, mirage. It's just there to make you think that, uh, you know, these are your enemies and so forth. Well, they wipe out the entire, you know, as much population as they possibly can. So if they do this, if they, if this next, you know, false flag is this going to be this, um, some kind of bioweapon or something like this with the dark winter, then, you know, the people like, you know, myself, I have the sign out in front of my house, you know, this like, um, says, you know, there's, um, there's, uh, you know, fake pandemic and so forth. And then what will happen is they'll, they'll do this in such a way to make me look like, you know, make those truthers, us truthers, look like, okay, well, look, people are actually dying. These guys said it was fake. This is the new, this is the new, you know, um, mutated version. And it's so deadly and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, so they actually, you know, now there's people actually dying and so forth. And, you know, they, they, um, they uh, are going to make it look like, well, look, you know, these guys were wrong. You know, the truth is wrong all along and so forth and so forth. We got to be careful. That's what I'm saying. You know, we got to be careful that. I mean, I'm thinking about changing the sign out front from you know fake pandemic, real tyranny, to dark winter, false flag, or dark winter inside job or something like that because that's the kind of thing that they would do. You know, they would. They would um, do this in order to sort of, you know, discredit. Okay, well, you know, and people can say, well, you know, you know, this truth of community, they really are dangerous. They're endangering lives because, you know, and the whole time it's like, okay, they had a fake. They took a flu season and turned it into, and now they're actually, you know, they're actually going to be killing people and so forth. A good idea if you had a fireplace, you know, so you can keep yourself warm during the winter. Um, you know, and I guess you heard all about, you know, storing the food and that kind of thing. So, um, on my video, the, the video I'm directing you to words on, uh, YouTube, uh, I mean, not YouTube, I mean, uh, library, L-B-R-Y. I mean, they might even take this one down, even though I'm, you know, I've mentioned, I don't know if did I mention... Well, I see it here, <laughs> you know, the C word, the, you know, I mean, I don't know how they're doing this. If, if they're going to say, well, uh, you know, this is bad information, you know, you're supposed to live in fear. This guy's, you know, this is dangerous. You got to go back to living in fear. You know, we're trying to destroy the human race. And this guy's trying to tell you to be courageous. You know, this is very dangerous. You know? So anyways, I wanted to touch base with the YouTube community here. I, you know, I, 
if I make a, a book review, I've been reading books, it's just I haven't made any reviews because I haven't finished them yet. I'm reading, I'm reading a pretty interesting sci-fi one about, uh, you know, uh, um, how the aliens are, they're actually, you know, demonic and it ties in with Bible prophecy and all that. And it's pretty well written, kind of like, um, I mean, it's a real page turner. So it's called The Facade. And, um, yeah, there's reads like Dan Brown, you know, it's a pretty good page turner, but, and I forget the guy's name that wrote it, but anyway, um, yeah, so, this is the thing we got to be careful with, the dark winter, you know, there could actually be deaths this time, like, not like, you know, not like this fake pandemic we just went through where, you know, if there was any increase in deaths is because the government's policies of isolating people and, you know, you know, getting you know, people dying of loneliness in nursing homes and people not going to the hospital because, you know, they're not doing, you know, non-essential kind of stuff and that kind of, you know, that kind of whole crap there, people committing suicide because they're depressed and they see that they've just taken away their future and the, and the generation, my, you know, the, the generation of elders has just walked away from their freedom and left the next generations to you know, to the wolves, you know, and so they're like, what the hell, you know, I got no future, and, you know, so I get into all this, I've been reading, you know, I read New York Times articles and show you how the Marxist, scumbag Marxist New York Times, and the people that are, you know, trying to lie to people, and, you know, make sure you live in fear, and, it, and I point out the fact that, you know, the newspapers now are about 75 percent, you know, COVID, and, 25% racism, and that, you know, it's all the bold Marxist bullshit and agendas. So, please go to the library. I've been telling, you know, I've been going to, like, you know, there's still some channels, some good channels on YouTube that don't have a library, and, and I'm telling those people, like, you know, um, what's her name? And I think that's the name of her channel, what's her name? And um, I've been telling... Um, uh, Truth Stream Media, for instance, get a library channel so I don't have to go to YouTube. I don't want to go to YouTube. I'm trying to boycott YouTube. I I'll watch, you know, I watch some railroad videos and maybe some music videos every now and then. But I don't. I want to try to spend more and more time somewhere else. You know, somewhere there's blockchain and and so forth, like like LBRY. I still haven't been in it on BitChute, so I'm not, you know, I'm not like this way. I don't just say BitChute right away because I, they won't let me on yet. I'm still trying to get to get my techie guy and maybe we can figure out how to get on. But so far, it's been nothing but frustration with those. I mean, I can't even, I can't even join. They got whatever they're doing there. I can't even join. Whereas library just got on with this as smooth as silk. You just get right on. And, you know, they, they, they take your YouTube videos and transfer them. Now, I'm, I, it seems to me that YouTube is, YouTube, it seems to me that YouTube might be preventing some people from doing that. That the, the, There's certain channels there that used to just automatically pop up uh, anytime they put it on YouTube. It would like, um, Richie from Boston, there's another guy. He needs to be on library and uploading to library. But I think he thinks he's putting it on YouTube and it's showing up on library and it ain't. Vernon Coleman. His stuff doesn't come on library anymore. It's, 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 it's months. He'll have stuff out on YouTube and it doesn't show up. There's something wrong. I don't know what it is. But at any rate, folks, we got to um, be careful about if, you know, Bill and Melinda Gates are laughing about, oh, this next one is going to, you know, slaughter millions of people. There's, there's not, nothing makes them more happy than, than knowing, you know, the, 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 the death of millions of people is, is on the horizon. That it just puts a big smile and a laugh on them. So, um, yeah, we got to, um, you know, be careful, that, you know, if this n next one is real. Um make sure, you know, that we're ready to acknowledge it. Now, uh, you know, the, this is the trick, so, uh, but it's going to be something like this where, you know, they release a bioweapon and blame it on the Chinese or something like that. The Chinese and American are owned by the same people anyway, so. I don't know what to do in that case, you know what I mean? If, if there was really, 
you know, to really killing people. I mean, you still don't want to, you don't want to surrender your freedoms. You go forward and you die. You die free. Die free. Don't die as a, a cowering, you know, cowering coward, you know, <laughs> shivering in the corner. I don't know, someone's going to get me. You know, just go forward. Go forward. I, I really, the other thing, one of the other points I'm making is that, look, you got, you got this, you know, the people that hate Trump, the people that love Trump, the people that hate Biden, the people that love Biden, blah, blah, blah. There should be two different countries automatically right off the bat. That, that that's the way we should be heading. Go to my video on library. It's called um, "There's No Freedom for Cowards," and I cover a lot of material in depth. So, you know, I just want to say hi to people that haven't gone over there yet, and please, you know, go over to LBRY. You do a, um, you type in "Love and Division" all one word. Do a channel search. I'll come up. Okay, thanks. Take care.